Hey guys, Vex here, and welcome back to Age of Wushu. Now today we'll be looking at some of the new expansion stuff that came out recently. Was it last month? I think it was about a month ago. Yeah, and as you see, I've got a new outfit. This is one of the new world outfits. This is the Six Gate Attire, uh, as you can see. Six Gate Attire. I'm not a huge fan of it, but... I mean, it looks cool, but it's not really my style of thing, but I'm wearing it right now because it's new. Um, but yeah, first, first thing I want to show you is to do with the new world stuff, which is actually the main part of the expansion. I uh, will be starting, I'll, I'll show you how you can make your own house. Uh, you go, t you talk to this guy here, he'll give you a quest. Uh, you don't need the quest, but just sort of a reminder of what you need. Um, to buy a house, you need to get one of these tokens here. And you, there's five different kinds of houses, the hut, the log cabin, the stone house, the cave, and the brick house. Now, the cave is the biggest, I believe. It's a nice sort of, not underground, but sort of in a mountainy cave. It's pretty cool. It's really nice and large. Um, I think the stone house is underground. It's kind of nice and large as well. But I think the log cabin, the hut, and the brick house are all about the same size. They're kind of smallish. I'll show you how big that is in a minute. I've already got mine. Um... To get those, if we right click on say the brick house, these are the uh, ingredients you need to make the house. You need 35 of each of these, which um, require different profes professions. Uh, the only one you will need uh, someone, like one that you'll need someone else for is these flowers, herbalist and a poisoner, who are the only ones who can pick those. But of course you can get your own linen from mob drops and things like that. And you can harvest your own wood and uh, ores and ingots and things like that because anyone can be a woodcutter or a, um, a miner. Uh, the other, the one thing, the tricky thing you'll need is this house exchange voucher, which if we go to make furniture, it's not actually what it is, but you can buy, you get these house exchange vouchers. You can only purchase one of them ever. So be careful with that. You can buy houses uh, when there's going to be some more on the market. I don't know when that's going to happen. You can also buy one for five ding, which is really expensive. But if you know if you want it in a rush, you need 10 Ming tokens. Now, as you can see, I've only got one at the moment. This is because you also need them to upgrade your house. So you'll need more than Ming tokens to upgrade your house. But to build your house to start with, you'll need 10. They drop in forbidden instances off the little bags that open up after you beat a boss. Click on that, open that. You might get a Ming token out of that. It took me about two weeks to get all ten. I got like seven in the first week and then it took me until like the end of the week to get the other three. Um, and in the last like two weeks, I haven't really been running too hard because I've already got my house, but I haven't. They're, they're, they're kind of a bit rare, but at the same time, you could get lucky and get a bunch of them at once. Um, what else can you get? Oh, these are special things you can find um, that you can exchange for here. But essentially what you want to do is say you want to build build yourself, find yourself a cave. These are the things you'll need. Then you'll need 10 Ming tokens from instances. They drop off every boss in every instance. So you can go to Twilight Village normal and they have a chance of dropping off the bosses there just as much. I'm not sure if there's a... If you do TV... Sure, maybe there's a higher drop chance, but I haven't really noticed. Um, so yeah, you buy one of these house exchange vouchers, then you exchange it for a house. You can also go to this guy here, and just buy one of these tokens for five ding, um, which then lets you exchange for one of these. Now the cave ones have been built, bought out, um, but you can also buy these other ones for the same price. It's kind of a bit expensive. Now for those of you who don't have a house yet, don't worry, you can still go to the New World. There are limited time periods in which you can go to the New World, but we'll go to the Inn. And you just click here on the Inn. There's one in Luoyang for the Western Western region, and this is for the Northern Plains. Uh, there's two different zones, sort of, you can go into. There's four, four, region, four zones in each region, um, but there's basically two different regions you can go to with four zones each. Um, and there, I'll, I'll show, well, we'll get into them soon enough. But I'll just show you how to start out without a house. Because you can go to the New World without a house. Not as easily as you can with a house. With a house, you can literally go any time of the day. 
sorry, to, to the region that your house is located in. For me, I've got a house here in Yanjing, so I can um, go to the house and go to the northern regions whenever I want. However, when I'm going to go to the western regions, I have to go to an inn like everybody else. I wouldn't say everybody else. I think people are slowly starting to get the houses now. I think people are starting to get the houses. But as you can see, this is sort of what a house will look like. I'll show you what my house looks like at the moment. It, it's only sort of this middle area. But um, but yeah, this is sort of the thing you can make. And you can have a bath. You can take a bath in that. You can't use the the um, bed in the, in the inn. But you can use the bath because the bath is pretty necessary. Um, to get in here... I'll see what the what times it's open. It should say it here. Door opening hours: three to five a.m. server time, twelve to two a.m. Uh, twelve p.m. to two p.m. server time, and six thirty p.m. to one a.m. daily. Um, so those are the times. Obviously, it's going to be way easier to get in that period. This is only entering. You don't have to. You won't be kicked out after five five a.m. if you go in at that time period. You just can't enter anymore after them from the inn. Um, now. One of the things that's also important is this little backpack counter. You can go here, right click on it, and sort backpack. From here, you basically um, can change things around. This is this was bugged the first week of the game, so I couldn't really show you much from that. But as you can see, you can take stuff from your equipment and your goods and swap it around here. Um, I've got a horse in here. It's got two days left. Okay, cool. Uh, and the materials... Uh, which I've got, I've taken some of those out of my backpack here and this kind of stuff here, which is, which is how you sort of get stuff out of the new world. You sort of go to this backpack, go like, okay, I need some of the materials I picked up. I'll just click on that, click remove item, it'll go into my current backpack and Bob's your uncle. Uh, I'll just have one because I'm getting a little hungry. Um, but yeah, this is to, but there's one more thing you need before you can go into the new world. You go to the shop here, the maid, talk to her and buy these survival tokens. Notice they cost bound silver, so you don't have to worry about that. I think these are, oh no. And also you can hire pets, which are also bound silver. They have different uh, special abilities. The mink here, the ferret, can find poison herbs as well as uh, secret areas. Um, I haven't found any secret areas with my... I've got a permanent owl and a permanent ferret, but I haven't used the ferret to find anything yet. The macaque, the monkeys, they can find survival items and uh, let you spot traps, as you can see. And the, the owl is one of the most useful because it can help you find humanoid targets, a camps where the storyline takes place and where you can talk to people and get outfits like mine. The dog is also pretty good because it can find you uh, resources and you can sort of uh, purchase food for them um, right here. They cost bound money, bound uh, thing for that, which I might purchase some of that now. Let's just buy some of that. 200 silver for 20? No, I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. And you can um, also for the skill sets, you can buy these ancient bronze coins. Uh, and I believe, and you once you collect up these tokens, you can exchange for equipment. Um, so you can sort of explore that on your own. It's uh, I wouldn't. I'd just recommend taking your own equipment on, even though there's a small risk to taking your own equipment into the new world. If another player kills you, you have a chance to drop it, uh, depending on your proficiency with the gear. As you can see, my proficiency is 68 of 100. That's because I've gone into the new world with this gear set a couple of times, and so it builds up, etc., etc. Um, you can also find new skill sets in the new world. If we go over, actually, we'll go to my house for that one. So we'll just leave this uh, back to the old world. And I will show you my place. Now, keep in mind, it is uh, just a level one home. It is very basic. I haven't even put in very good uh, furniture yet. My feng shui is a bit of a mess. Um, but... It's a starter home, you know, I got start, I've got started, I've built a few things, it's sort of getting there as I farm materials up to get to build stuff. Um, so yeah, it's it's slowly getting there. Um, I'm hoping that the box has some storage space once I make that, but I need more moir stone. Moya stone? Whatever it is, moya stone, I think. Someone in the comments might let me know. Uh, now, I did do the foolish thing and sort of... Uh, 
by my house right next to the inn. I kind of found a nice spot after a, a couple of days ago that was sort of down near the um, down near the, the market, which was actually a really nice area, but this is where I made my home. I really want to move it, but I don't think you can. But what you can do is you just click on Build Home, choose, um, obviously you give it the, the, the brick house token, choose a name, etc, etc. Um, or, since I've already got one here, you can see what residents live here. There's a lot of people here, that's because it's just the first one you come across. And you can sell your home, apply to a visit home, you can even lockpick into people's homes and mess it up a bit. Um, that is, make it dirty, not actually move stuff around, which would be crazy. But we'll go into my house, and I'll show you what it's like. Um, it might take a little bit of loading time, it's not exactly the quickest of loading, even though it's just this tiny little area. Um, I think that's just because you can place furniture wherever you want, so it takes a bit longer to load. And here we are. Now it's going to take in a little bit to load. It's it's freezing up a little bit, but don't worry about that. I'm sure it won't be too long. Here we go. And you can see the curtains cutting off where I can build extra, but this is sort of my layout. As you can see, it's sort of basic. It's a little bit cluttered at the moment. That's because I don't have the room to put everything where I want. I need to. That's why I want desperately want those upgrade tokens so I can sort of move my bedroom into here like is in the inn and move my other stuff into here so I have a study in there. As you can see, I've got a nice-ish bed. I've got my tub behind the counter here, behind the, the screen here. There's my ferret, my banquet table, um, my little, uh, my countertop with my little thingy and stuff. There's my owl. Etc. Et now to learn, uh, now we'll get back to the main point of learning skill sets. This is my script shelf. This is one of the most important things next to the backpack counter. To learn skill sets, you need to collect these fragments in the new world. Every 40 fragments for the first three levels will give you one level of the skill. Once you've gotten enough, uh, if we go cultivate, once you've got enough to uh, level, once you've got enough fragments to have the next level of the skill, you pay cultivation points just straight up. You don't pay them, you don't level them like you do other sets over time. You literally just pay cultivation points straight up. But to learn the skill, you need to lease the skill with these ancient bronze coins. Now there is a, a daily you can do, which isn't showing up here because I'm inside a house. Um, however, you do kind of need to be high level to do it, be, or at least high reputation to do it because you need to do things like Nangong and Murong families. And um, those require you to be fairly high reputation, and I can't quite do those yet. So I haven't been able to rent any of these skill sets. Uh, once I do, once I get, I can do that. I can start getting A's in those and getting the, the bronze coins each day. You can also do them with Luyan orders, which uh, cost 79 silver um, tails to uh, learn, and then you do a quest, and then you get 10 tokens, and then you can turn three in for one range of bronze coin. Or you can pay straight up 99 gold to learn one of these skill sets, which I don't really recommend. Uh, if you really want to pay 99 gold for a skill set, then do it for one of the pay sets because they're the only way you can get that. But for these, you can just get the ancient bronze coins, do the Luyan orders, rent them out. Um, if you're high enough level, you can easily do the ancient bronze coins quests, start leasing them. After 45 days of leasing, you get to keep them permanently. So it's a lot easier than it looks. I mean, 45 days is still a lot of coins, but it means you've sort of um, committed to that skill and you've sort of rented it long enough. Now there's a bunch of skill sets. You've got the Guzzi Dagger Twin Dagger set, which is apparently pretty good. Uh, you've got the Twin Record of the Dancing Ghost, which I believe is the one you get from the Northern Plains. Yeah, it's the Northern Plains um, Roaming Points box one. The other one we'll be seeing in this one is the Western Fencing and the Chun uh, Zen sword skill set, which as you can see, I'm nearly, I'm nearly at level one of that. Uh, however, the only problem is because they are so like, takes a while to build up, you kind of do want to rent them 